Up at the North Pole, one cold Christmas Eve, Santa was busy preparing to leave. Eight little brown reindeer were hitched to the sleigh, and Santa was anxious to be on his way. All the brownies and elves that make Christmas toys were packing the gifts for good little girls and good little boys. But one lonely toy had been hidden from view, a poor teddy bear with his fur colored blue. They had made him all wrong, his sad eyes looked down. You see, one eye was blue and the other was brown. Who would want such a gift, said the toy maker elf. We'll just leave him here, put him back on the shelf. Now Teddy Bear wanted a friend all his own, and now he was scared he'd be left all alone. Then Santa called out, Get more toys for this run. My list is so long, I'll need every last one. The elves hurried back, snatched Teddy from hiding, tossed him on the sleigh where soon he'd be riding, one leg sticking out as though he might fall. Hardly made Teddy feel wanted at all. There wasn't a minute to set him upright. Santa climbed in, and the reindeer took flight. Prettily prancing, they sped through the snow. The sleigh skimming rooftops swayed to and fro, and all the night long Santa kept on his route, delivering toys till he almost ran out. Then at last Santa stopped, and by the light of the moon he went over his list, and he said, Very soon I must find a place for this blue teddy bear. But his eyes are so sad, I wonder just where. Well, there was just one house left, so Santa Claus knew this must be the place to leave Teddy Bear Blue. In this house lived six children, three large and three small. It would take many gifts to remember them all. Santa moved softly. He made not a sound, unloading the toys, and he spread them around. He left bicycles, roller skates, dolls, and toy dishes, tin soldiers and games to suit everyone's wishes. And Teddy Bear Blue, with his beady-eyed stare, was left under the tree in a small rocking chair. As Santa went out in the wintry chill, the toys waited patiently, silent and still. Then at last, the children awoke, and shouting with glee, they hurried downstairs to look under the tree. Three big boys came first, passed Teddy right by. Bicycles and skates, they were anxious to try. Two little girls then came looking around. One found a doll, the other just frowned. Claimed a red ball, gave Teddy one look, then turned to toy dishes and a coloring book. Teddy Bear Blue felt lonely and sad. Nobody chose him. What a Christmas he had. He sat there staring with his brown and blue eyes, and he wished that he knew how a teddy bear cries. A curly-haired boy, just going on three, came running downstairs, and Teddy could see him searching for toys. Few were left there. He came straight toward that small rocking chair. Hello, said the boy. Did Santa bring you? Oh, you're just what I wanted, my teddy bear blue. He grabbed Teddy up just as quick as a wink, and he hugged him so tightly that he just couldn't think. But his bright button eyes were shining with joy, and he gave all his love to that curly-haired boy. Old Santa had finished his work for the year, and started back home with his trusty reindeer. But when children are nestled, all cozy and warm, can you guess who's resting on somebody's arm? Snuggled close to the boy, looking ever so wise, is Teddy Bear Blue with his brown and blue eyes. <laughs>